What up folks, I'm UltraZilla, and today we got a little something special because we have the Diamond Select Toys Pacific Rim Uprising. No, not just Gypsy Avenger, but every figure in the line here. Once again, thanks to DST, for all of these, this was the brand and the line that I first reviewed for them all those years ago. The first wave was the first thing that they ever sent me for review and it's really cool and nostalgic to be able to do these reissues once again here. But we're gonna do things a little bit different with this because we have nine figures to cover. I'm not gonna do like full, full reviews here, but I think I figure this is a review. Um, you know, but it's gonna be more of like an unboxing. We're gonna play around with them and look at them. Just give you some general thoughts on them uh, because these are in store now. You can get them once again in these cool boxes. That's what they've done. They've reissued them all in these really nice boxes. Uh, and that's what we're here to look at all around. And I say we're here to look at because I'm here with... That's right, because uh, we're gonna give them both of our thoughts. So. This is very cool. This is obviously a Gypsy Avenger, so this is the first one we're gonna get out of the box. So just to show you, this is what this looks like in the tray. Very nicely done, double-sided here. Very, very cool, and you can see it comes with all kinds of stuff, which is awesome. That's this cool. is very much like an ultimate version of this. There is tape here, so we're gonna get that off and continue. There's Gypsy out of the package. It's really cool to, to get to do these again. Um, you know, I don't have the full set anymore, so it's very cool to get them again. I'm really, really excited. Uh, I, I I think they might be slightly painted differently and we're not going to be doing like size comparisons in this video either like i said it's a very different kind of review it's more like an overview we're just kind of looking at them uh you're not doing full full details here but look at all the cool stuff just look at it that looks really nice what's this one expanded claw uh this is the one that has like you know the energy ball i'm, I'm kind of struggling to remember what a lot of these remember uh what's, <laughs> were called what's, what's this? the chainsaw here Chainsword, that looks really cool. Chainsaw, actually. Wasn't this the, the one that's uh, on Obsidian Fury? And then they put it on him? Yeah. I think so. Because here's a Chainsword, and here's a, another one of these, so. Wait. Very cool, you can see that they have this little notches here. We go into their arms, just a regular fist hands. Are these supposed to be the same thing? Uh, yeah. No, they're a little bit different, I guess. So here's this guy. Yeah, and I'm also not really totally doing like articulation. I guess I'm more gonna like pose these guys around a little yeah. bit. Check What's them out. What's thing in his chest? I never actually knew. Uh, the core reactor. So. Give him energy? Yeah. It looks really good, guys. I do like it. There's a lot it's of detailed. like. Yeah, a lot of good detail here and a lot of I nice. I like the color. Right, it's dark. It's it's really dark, um, which I like. I, I think it looks different than the original. So, you know, you guys could make a judgment on that, but I, I think it's darker than the original. The original one was, like, way more blue than this. Oh, this so looks fantastic. They, they changed color? I think so. I think they changed the colors, which would, you know, be totally different. You know what I'm saying? Like, that just looks cool. It's nice. Right? It is nice. So I don't know how easy taking any parts out is without any heat, but I might want to at least do one of them. Like, oh, very neat. Very easy that was. Uh, let's see. Let's, this one goes in here. On this side. Ooh, I just jabbed myself. There we go. Nice and easy. That's Ooh. nice. Yeah, a little shoulder pad popped out. But yeah. Bzzz, very cool. I really like it. It looks good. You know, it's really nice to see it this actually, figure again. This actually, this one, Gypsy, I have... I think I had more than one of these. Really? Um, and I think I still do, so... 
but this looks great. I really like it. I really do think uh, the color is a bit different yeah, than it was the first time. It's cool that they added, actually added the little red. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's always been there, but I, I really like that. That's awesome. Next up, let's bring in Valor Omega. And this, I believe, was one of uh, my favorite figures from the first time I reviewed them. Really? Yeah, I think it was really cool. So, and also, these guys are sculpted by Big Shot Toy Works. Yeah, this guy is big and chunky. He's kind of like a football player-ish looking body. He just has a really good feel to him. Yeah, this was definitely one of the ones uh, that I really did dig the first time. So, you know, looks cool. A lot less stuff on this one. Just got extra hands on this. But, you know, this is like the main character. So you're going to get a lot of different things uh, with Gypsy. So. Are those guns? Yeah, those are big guns. Ultra Zilla Jr. saying, surprise, he can't, it just comes with extra hands. But honestly, it doesn't really do much in the movie. So, it no, so, you know, that that's why, but yeah, the figure feels really nice. It really does. It looks really good, too. A, a little less detail than that one. You think so? Yeah. What do you mean by that? I think there's a lot of detail on this. I mean, like, like, detail, but, like, much, much lighter. Oh, like, this has some more heavy paint, you mean? It, this one actually looks like it's from the movie. Oh, nice. I, I get what you're saying. Like, more realistic from that what actually looks like from the movie. Oh, okay. But again, really, this guy doesn't have a ton of screen time or anything, so... Um, Wait, does he actually show them fight him fighting monsters? No, I don't, I don't think so. At all? I believe he's just in the drone scene and I think just gets killed. But I can't remember completely. But, ooh, a little bit tight here and there but um overall yeah this guy's awesome I, I still really like him he feels really good when you move him feels chunky nice very nice really great details in my opinion <laughs> are these gonna be like shoulder pads yeah some like shoulder pads but that's all pads what that's shoulder pads right yeah but these aren't yeah they're shoulder pads too. Oh. yeah like shoulder pads so, very cool. Next up, uh, we got Bracer Phoenix. It looks pretty nice. Yeah, Bracer Phoenix. Hey, it's not one of my favorites of uh, Pacific Rim Uprising. Wait, I feel like he's a little boring. Yeah, he's one of the ones that fights at the end with the Mega Kaiju, but um, oh. just not one of my favorites. But here he is. I don't know. He's, he's just a little boring to me. Uh, I think in a movie he he's better than as a toy. Um, not nothing, you know. The guns were sure on DST's good. version or the um, Tamashi version. It was just I don't know. It just didn't work out for me. Uh, but yeah, he looks all right. That's for sure. He's like a tank, you know. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. It's kind of cool. Look, I mean the the good thing about these figures is. They look really nice. They have a really nice finish on them. I like the gun in his chest. Yeah, that looks cool. So, um, they're definitely worth it. Um, just for that alone. I think they did a good job on that. So, you know, and someone is asking uh, if they released the, um, they really released the kaiju that they did. Uh, but they didn't. Um... I'm not sure why, uh, but they just released the Jaegers. All, maybe because, you know, these were all going in the same type of boxes, uh, something like that. But, oh, this came with uh, yeah. hands, fists. So, uh, but, you know, somebody was saying about that, like, they wish they got more kaiju. I wish we got more of the kaiju as well. Wait. We only got one of the kaiju. However, um, I think, you know, if... The sales, I think, were there for more kaiju. There would have been, um, for sure. It's not like, you know, DST didn't want to make more kaiju, you know. Uh, but, you know, it probably by the time it got to that third wave, the sales probably were down a little bit. You know, even though that third wave was probably the best of the three, honestly. Um, and the kaiju was really good. 
That was a uh, Hakuja, I believe. So, I, you know, I think if these do good on re-release. So, and, is there Kai? Um, from the same series, did they make Kaiju? Hmm? I just said that. <laughs> they did one Kaiju. And uh, I think, personally, if this set of reissues do, do good, they do have another figure coming out. Ultimate Gypsy Danger. So if these and that do good, I can't see them not doing more. As long as the license is still there, why wouldn't you want to make more Pacific Rim? Uh, you know, there is a fan base for this stuff. I'm here. I'm 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 ready to <laughs> review more nice. stuff. Yeah. I, I like his shoulder pad. Yeah, he is cool. So you know, I, I hope they do do more. You know, because it'll be. It'd be fun to get more in this line and hopefully a line from the first movie. So yeah, uh, it, to that question, yeah, I hope they do more uh, kaiju and I think it's in the realm of possibility. And next we have Guardian Bravo. He's the one with the whips. Where there's a whip. There is a whip. Where there's a whip. There's a whip. So, <laughs> There he is, there's the box for this guy. For whatever reason, this one has a little little tab holding this together. The other ones did not. So I don't know what why that is. A little plastic thing holding everything together. Uh, but you know, it's cleared from the front here as well, so. Oh my gosh, two. Really? Yeah. Annoying. All right. There we go. So, got your brother. We have hands. Fist hands and a holding hand for the whip. Which looks really good. So is it a lightning whip? Yep. Like an energy whip. That's cool. Right? So put it in his hand. Here's the figure. I like this guy. You know, it's got a cool color scheme. All right? Yeah. PPDC. What's that mean? I forgot. <laughs> Pacific something or other. I don't know. Pacific Defense Corps. But we need to get the whip in his hand. Yep. For sure. For the full, full look. And there we go. And there you go. So, he, I think in the movie he has two whips. Yeah. In both hands, right? Uh-huh. So, but this does not have it. I wish they, they, they did two whips. That would have been good um, for this release. But, you know, it is what it is. I think the figure does look good. He has these things in the back that move. Who are those? Which I actually don't remember. These, these little like foothold things. I think this one's a little off here. It is. Oh, wait. Man, something's off on this one. See how this one's flat? Yeah. It should be flat, like to the ground. Mm -hmm. So I, I don't know what's up with that. Mine's a little warped on that side. I don't think it's gonna matter too much yeah he still stands fine as you can see gypsy avenger and uh you know these guys are a size comparison all to themselves you know uh is the gypsy biggest one Avengers are basically. yeah so but there you go that's guardian bravo he's a nerd, biggest guy mm -hmm. he's a... well these guys no, are basically he's the same a second, a biggest guy and they're like the same yeah they're both the dirt mm-hmm they're cool. They're cool. They're a little bit boring. I like I like that guy more than than these two. I wish he had more screen time than they did, honestly. And next, we got Titan Redeemer, who I believe his thing goes with this guy after a while. What? The little spiky ball but thing. Can you actually take off his hand and take off that and then put a switch it? I don't think you can. 
It'd be cool if you can. I don't think you can, but let's take him out. Redeemer just comes with a fist. One fist? Just one fist. So, and it's not even like this side. So if you take, if you were to take off the ball, yep. like you'd have no fist for that hand. So it's not something that they, you know, want to take off. So, but it moves and it's really spiky. Do not touch. Is it, it's dangerous? It's really, really spiky. But it moves. It does move. Ouch. Um, I like his eyes. His eyes are cool. It's got a nice finish on it, on the green, black wash on the green. Looks good. Looks really good. Man, these are cool to, to honestly, it's really cool to see these guys again. Play around with them again. So, this is awesome. So, you didn't oh, see. Oh, he's a little, a little stiff. So, you didn't he's see a little him heat. and him that much? No. Oh. So there's some of these guys that really, you know, they didn't get a ton of screen time. They're in the hangar. So when uh, the kaiju drones attack. But looks good. He's a little stiff, like I'm saying. So he needs a little heat. And that was the thing with uh, these guys. You know, some of them needed some heat um, to get them moving again. I will say, though, so far, and I remember having more looseness with with the figures the first time around and i'm not getting that as much here which is very good and next is november ajax who i do like and who does have a little bit more screen time than some of the others um besides the the main uh, ones this guy is like the police officer one i always call them um he's at the beginning of the movie and you know he's cool i don't know i just really like this just nice blue color scheme so let's let's take a look and here it is, and I like this guy. He is very nice looking. I actually don't really like him. Really? Why? I, Ooh, his head is a little stuck. I don't really like his head that much. Hmm. But I like how his the rest of him looks. He looks pretty cool. It's yeah, I like him. Head. I don't know. I always like I think this his, one. I think his head's too long. Too long? I guess. I guess I can see what you're saying. But I, I do like him. Wait, so why are those things up on his foot? Uh, I don't know. What even are they? Mm, just little flaps, I guess. But I think he looks pretty good. He comes with two fist hands. So, not too much. But again, he didn't really do much in the movie, so. But, you know, he does have a little more screen time than Titan Redeemer in, uh, what was that one called? Valor Omega? It's just that, like... He's good looking. I'm surprised they made well, the guys blue. that haven't had that much screen time. Well, you know, they just figured they'd make them all. All the Jaegers. Yeah. From the movie. Wait, this is literally all of them? Mm-hmm. I believe so. Man, his head is really jammed on mine, so... I don't want to force that, but... Otherwise, I think he's pretty good looking still. I, I really like this one a lot. Actually, it kind of looks awesome. <laughs> now you think it looks awesome? Yeah, I just think the head's too long. Yeah. That's all. I like it, I like it. I think it looks really cool. Alright, now we have Saber Athena, and I rearranged these guys a little bit for, you know, mean Jaegers and, and not so mean Jaegers. <laughs> uh, but Saber Athena is, uh, you know, the last one of the main Jaegers, and she is awesome. Yeah, really, 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 nice really awesome. I mean, in the movie, um, the figures that I've gotten of her, you know, the original DSP as well as uh, the Tamashi one, the Robot Spirits one. Very cool stuff. Such a cool figure. Cool, cool design. Really, really nice. Yeah, Orange. Really, really nice. Looks very cool. So, we got fist hands. Oh, actually, we got holding hands here because she has two. Right. Like lightsaberish swords, blades. Oh, this is stuck again. I don't know why they did that. Oh, but well, we got it out. <laughs> so we got one big one. Nice. And then uh, two smaller ones. So as you can see, 
Which one does he use? He mostly use this one or these two small ones? Uh, I don't recall. It's been a while since we watched the movie. Like a lot. Right. So. But the bigger one, I think, isn't the, isn't the bigger one the two combined? That's what I was going I think it is. Say. Yeah. I think it is. So let's give her that one. Looks cooler, I think. Fits in the hand pretty good, too. Yeah, that's awesome. It's nice. Right? I would say this is one of my favorite ones so far. Yeah, this looks great. Freed up the knees. Woo! <laughs> the ones that that was scary like, sounding. The, the ones I mostly like is this one, that one, and that one. Mm-hmm. I, I like... I always like Gypsy. Gypsy Avenger is awesome. But yeah. Saber looks amazing, and... Valor Omega are my three favorites. Mm -hmm. And and November Ajax is good too. Uh, if I could free up his head, uh, that would be good. But yeah, Sabre Athena is looking awesome. Very, very nice all around. You know, I hope you guys are getting, you know, the gist of, you know, the articulation mostly. Again, if you get these, heat them up. You know, don't, you know, try to <laughs> do what I do, like smashing out the... Also, the legs like that. You might snap something. It um, says the, how much points of articulation it has on the ball. Oh, very cool. It says that all, all the figures that it said so far had 16. Oh, cool. So, yeah. You get a lot of articulation out of these guys. Just treat them well, and they'll treat you well. But Saber Athena, wow. This is... This awesome. is great looking. Really, really nice. I gotta say, also, and I'm, I meant to say this earlier... Um, the paint job on these uh, are awesome. I remember the first time around having some issues with some of the paint on some of these guys, I believe. And, now look better. and I think they just, I, I haven't seen anything wrong with any of these guys. Yeah, me neither. Right? They just look great. They're so perfect. that's 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 something to remember. So we got all the good guys out of the way. So let's bring out the bad guys, starting with Obsidian Fury, which is amazing. This was my favorite part of Uprising was the scenes with Obsidian Fury. Just an amazing, amazing looking evil Jaeger. He's pretty cool. Uh, it's really really nice looking um so is the figure nice looking i do believe i liked the original so let's see if i like this one so we get two hands two fist hands here and then he's got the uh chainsaw swords coming out he has a claw there too claw oh yeah look at that i cool. don't remember that about the first one or maybe they weren't painted i don't know something these look different to me. This whole arm looks different. I could be wrong. Again, um, I haven't looked at the figure it's in a like while. In back. This is one of the ones that is still, you know, I do still have it. And it's like in the back of my, actually, is my display, my Pacific Ring display is actually in flux right now. I think they're in boxes. That's why I haven't seen them. But this one feels nice and tight. It feels good. You see a lot of the orange spots. I think, guys, I want to say some of this paint looks different to me than the first time. Um, and either way, everything looks really, really good here. Wait, he has spines too in the back. Yeah. Oh, man, that looks great. That looks awesome. That looks really good. Oh, I love this. These reissues are awesome. Um, I think they're better than the first. I think they are too, guys. Uh, Ultra Zill Jr. I, I think they are too. Um, and guys, yeah. Oh, I knocked off his. Oh, is that a shoulder pad? It is shoulder pad. Yeah, they're on little ball joints. Mm -hmm. So, but yeah, these guys look awesome. I think this guy looks, in particular, really sharp. I think he's one of the best guys too. So he's, he's a tall guy. You know, it's got to stand face to face with Gypsy. Oops. Uh, he's actually taller. Yeah, he is. He's the tallest one so far. So that is awesome. I think this guy looks fantastic. Yeah, this is really really nice. Right. 
And our final thoughts, because you know what? This is a review. I was saying this is going to be a play or whatever, but this is a review. You know, it's just a little bit different way to do a review. Not, you know, traditional, like every little last bit, because we've done that already, but the paints look good. I hope you got a good look at them, because they, there is a lot... Oh, I don't even know. <laughs> um, there is a, a lot of cool things here to look at and like. And I really dig them. I really dig the new packaging. You know, these again are out in stores right now. You can get them from BBTS. You can get them from your local comic shops. Wherever you get your figures from, toy shops, they're out there now. Do pick them up because they are awesome. If you like them the first time, you're gonna like them even more this time. If you didn't experience the first set, well, this set is better. I'm gonna tell you right now, this set is way better. The joints feel better, everything feels better. Yes, there's a little tightness, but I'd rather tightness, and you know, that loosen than a lot of looseness. Uh, and I'm not getting that here, which is fantastic. So there you go, guys. That's my review, I guess. Ultra Zilla Jr., what do you think? I think all of them are awesome. Mm hmm and they're so cool to look at again, right? Yeah, uh, those I, look better than the original. Yeah, I mean, you're a little older now than uh, when they first uh, came out too, so I think you'll be able to appreciate them a little bit more this time too. And the fact that they're just better figures, all the better. There you go guys, that's our review, hope you dug it. Let me know your thoughts down below, and please like, comment, subscribe, share, check me out on Facebook and Instagram. Stay safe, till next time. Peace out, peace.